hello you are welcome how to solve this problem 3x raised to the power x equals to 3 raised to the power x plus 10 from here you can write this as 3x raised to the power x may equals to 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power 10 when we separate this from the law of indices and then in the next step Let's divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x in order to remove 3 raised to the power x here. So we divide both sides by 3 raised to the power x and then 3 raised to the power x cancels 3 raised to the power x here. And what we have left now is 3x raised to the power x over 3 raised to the power x which is equal to 3 raised to the power 10. And uh, also, in the next step, let's remove this 3 on this side and we divide both sides by 3. So divide both sides by 3 so that 3 we cancel 3 here. Yeah? And what we have left now is the x raised to power x over 3 raised to power x, which is equal to 3 raised to power 10 over 3 raised to power 1. 3 is still 3 raised to power 1. And then from the law of indices, we have same power here. When we have a raised to power n over b raised to power n, we can write this simply as a over b or raised to power n. So when we apply that here on the left hand side, we have x over 3 or raised to power x here, which is equal to on the right hand side. We can apply the law of indices. We have seen this. We can subtract the power, and that will be 3 raised to the power 10 minus 1, which is 3 raised to the power 9. Now, what we have here, we can make it in the form a raised to the power a equals to b raised to the power b. And once we have something like this, we know that a will be equal to b. So from here, Let's work our way here to this format. Then that means you multiply by 1 over 3. You multiply both power, the side, both sides, the power with 1 over 3. So that we have x over 3 here. So this becomes x over 3 raised to power x. Then multiply by 1 over 3. Also on this side, we multiply by power of 1 over 3. That's 3 raised to the power 9 times 1 over 3. And then what we have now becomes x over 3 to the power of x over 3 now. When these two multiply, we have x over 3. Then equals to, on this side, 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here that 3. That's 3 raised to the power 3. And when we compare with what we have, in this form, we have a number raised to the power same number. Also, a number raised to the power same number. Then we can equate and say x over 3 is equal to 3. And this same thing as 3 over 1. When we cross multiply from here, we discover that x is equal to 3 times 3, which is 9. And here we have the value of x for the problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also gives a thumbs up. See you in the next class. And bye for now.